and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 232. A couple of days delayed after, unfortunately, realized it. Uh, oh, just as, oh, not really, shit, just I didn't really feel like casting it. Why does it say? Hmm. I forget to, I could enough. That's in the event countdown, says so Keaton Martz. Alright, look. For tomorrow. Dead, right, dead. Oops. Stupid, that's stupid. I can't even look at the cat. I can't even look at the cat. I can't even look at the events tab anymore. Because they got rid of it for some reason. It pisses me the fuck off. It just. The extensions, like. Raise the schedule. Twitch is not. Well, even tell me. Uh. It's like they just dropped that without telling anybody. And it, it's fucked up. You have, uh. Can they? It's not the same thing. I think I'm the same thing. Sorry. What the fuck? Mm.
Sorry, just uh, trying to try something. Let's add the the friends to layer. Or get, well, let's see if I can get the work. The game made it look like it was in there, than that in there. Thanks. Guess he's over here. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. Hey, gonna hold this for long. I'm not about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. 
We were stranded at sea for 50 days, and you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. Fairly true. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Yeah. Ain't the grave with the guy, please got point. You have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. As I say, the heck, I don't get this. That guy's got point. Darn dire situation, though. Right, right. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Yeah. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Tell him a bit, not the full details. I still have some music. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. The snow is as deep. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. There's deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Well. Oh. 
There's no point setting off without that bow. No, use the bow I gave you. I don't make too much noise. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Me and Mango and I. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. I guess right now thing is still moving.
after filing it over, Percy. Golly, hope. Let's get a quickly turn this down on the party. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So yeah. What do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was those Driscolls you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big guy. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood. I can't imagine. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. <laughs> it gets bears easily. How many? The creature is there. To hibernate during the winter, so when get winter weather during the spring, it sort of screws with their Off the trail. screws with them. Can't imagine. Yeah, like Graham, man. How long you been now? Graham, I used to sleep through this. Something like that? But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. Oh, no, not at all. Just... No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. 
Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep? I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, well we don't we care where you come from. More than ever. Good. As long as you're loyal and How long have you been with these boys? You followed our rules, I guess. <laughs> Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. And Jose. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. He's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. That's like a oil horse. Easy. It's level five. Awesome. Some food it's level back, before. Guys. Good, RC. Come on, get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. Sorry, they'll drop it actually in the fire. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. I'll get second the rest you started. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. Yearn. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> hey. Always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you now you want on the floor there. Now you want to run. Right, now you want to rest. Yeah. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. I remember it was just a... Yeah, we said you were a butcher. They skinned it and you know, barely showed it. I won. Pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> One of the three deer skinned. Yeah, 
know, I think that's the first time I've ever had a, a game that's me. Hey, the not one of us. <laughs> Okay, that that was weird. Stay alert there, Javier. Hello, Arthur. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, freezing to death. Keep your chin up. Okay, Arthur. Oh, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Michael. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> so you don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. Good I point. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you and above a snowstorm. I don't think the trains are running. For that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards. Before they find us and rob this store, they're planning. Feel like it's safe, you know, and that's probably easily fall. Don't worry. Real dialogue and everything. Quite a few of them. Somebody else has been up here. The only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, the people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother. Dude. Ouch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Staying up here. Right, this is it. 
Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Say, even seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cole can wait. <laughs> Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal. And wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. That damn don't tell their faith in that. But thing is. Yeah, I have every right to be. It's with the person that just sort of makes things a little bit uh, edgy. Oh, watch out! This bit steep. Wrong turn, go around the mountain. 
Outside. More people arguing. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's get in cover. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Yep. We don't have time to debate this. You would for the dynamite detonator. We are ready to roll. How soon? When they get okay. Ready. I'll go first.
Ah, what the fuck? Really? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. You'll see. Okay, fine. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. Push up! I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Colm doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards!
birds are running away. Good work, boys. Back to the camp. Is that what we need? Clear out. Aha. Was ist schön? They said to get all the stuff we need. Arthur, get over here. Make up your mind. I'm really tougher. Do we just Tear this place apart! Uh, Bill! You go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Here! This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Ha, <laughs> dynamite. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they'll all be back. 
Well, he didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially yeah. when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed. That's our problem. <laughs> He got rid of train and stuff. He'll come after train's not run. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Come on. your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! I'm begging you. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Jeez, Arthur. I'm trying to confirm that it's getting set up. Here we are. 
sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. His need shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll. Listen, I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. It's Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just, I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. by the Odrisky. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. 
We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny, Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. But sometimes it doesn't matter. I'm at least on mute on this thing for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break and uh, be back in a few months. Finish up chapter one of Red Dead Redemption 2.
And back. Sorry. Gotta get something for downstairs. Is Bill there? Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Mess with Snipes with their fly style mustache. Okay, this is good. Alright, that should do it. You head back up to the others, I got it from here. Train's gonna be here any minute. I got a feeling that it gave me anything. It's gonna be here any minute. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? Miss Castle's been playing this for months, and it's okay, but the, that guy show up. Fucks up, and it's my fault. Here we go, here we go. Geronimo! Let's 
train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Arthur, who's going? Kind of, but you keep getting away. Get That's it. Ah, oh, shit. Coming off the train. Get 
Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Wake it up. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Oof. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. And now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Hey, Mr. Cornwall, we are to receive the payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration of the batch of. What? Uh, the Indian is a race in there. A bar and a. Screening the contract between Cornwall. 
currency, tar in tar in the land, Leland Oil Development Company dated in November 1898. Our certificate funds will proceed with the phases of two, three projects present you with a detailed report of the findings within the month. Or respectfully, James Critchy, head of accounts, laid the oil development. We got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Thank you for your telegram for your continued interest in the James Mining Company. However, in news you received of mismanagement and financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply false. Jake sees me and would urge you to question yeah. the sources. The coal industry is quite different looking. from all the industries in the way. So I feel those to ever give you the personal tour of mine and associates facility. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur. Have you looked down the end there? <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. Yeah, found right over books. Come on, let's hurry this along, boys. This looks like something. Fun. Thank God. Nice. Thank God. Come on. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Get a move on. It's just that it was a science experiment. I work for Mario Doc Brown. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. 
We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Can we? You and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> Nearly there. There. See? Let's hope it stays on. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, yeah, well. get in. I'll tell you. I should treat them better, but same point. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. It's a good question. Just talk. 
I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy hmm. don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your truck? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading the right way? the map, we fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. That's one way I look at. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you.
So I try to trust the cinematic about to take a story where it's supposed to go. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzly and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Good idea. to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. 
So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Cap to tail of horse to overlook. Couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> So I'll take a pain in the red creatures.
Okay, so it looks like a I mean you have in I can't, I can't, I can't. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna we're gonna okay, fist up fist up chapter uh, on um that was good. If I get that out of the way. But we're going to back tomorrow in order to get down with chapter two. Pick up where we left off today and or go for an hour, sorry. That stuff. Probably tomorrow. And on Thursday, we're going to work at Deluxe. It's not the great to queue. That'll be on Thursday. Friday, uh, Thursday night will be Life Strains 2, episode 2. Friday, day 4. Red Dead Redemption. Uh, no side of cats because I'm one of the movies. Sunday will be uh, Dead to Game 19 in the afternoon. I'm going to work at Eat Deluxe. It's an anime on Sunday night. All right, back in next Monday with day 5 of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's the upcoming schedule in the town lately at all, but we got lots of games coming up. Like I said, we're continuing on with the uh, Red Dead Redemption. We also got coming up. Final Fantasy 15, Persona 5. Lots of good stuff planned. So follow me on social media, same with the live. So follow me on social media, same with the live. Don't go live for Twitch and Twitter. I'll get the games from us, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, guys, the YouTube page for all the play through Pat Benner feature, including our playthrough of uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. Plus, lots more on Gunboxer videos, racing videos, convention videos, and all kinds of other good stuff. And if you hope to get that, in some ways, on the world, save you money. If you're watching the videos on YouTube, those can be found on the, any of our section down below. So, yeah. Got chapter one done, like I said. Like I said, uh, it's good progress today, so. Just tomorrow, so until next time, we're going, everyone.